Three, two, one. Eat what you kill. Hello, Hunt Chef Nation. Today, we've got a 62-day dry age set of whitetail hind legs here. I can't wait to show you guys the results and bring it all together in an awesome stir fry. Well, the first thing is temperature. You gotta have the meat cold enough to where it's not gonna spoil. The second thing is airflow. You have to have air all around that meat all the time so you can kind of form that barrier on the outside. And then the third thing is time. So depending on how much flavor you wanna build, how dry you want the meat, how much you're willing to lose when you trim it, those three things are the key ingredients to making something great dry aged. So we've got 62 days dry aging on, these, on this set of hind legs. You know, we've worked uh, the carcass all the way back and I wanna show you um, what the inside looks like. Now, some of it looks a little gory, but look how beautiful and firm that flesh is on the inside. Now we're gonna have a lot of loss here, but this was kind of an experiment for you guys to share just how much different dry aging can make your venison. Um, I do a lot of dried beef at my butcher shop, Stone Oz Butcher and Provisions, so I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> but you know, the dry aging process on meat, what happens is moisture leaves. So as that moisture leaves, it gets more dense and more firm the natural enzymes in the meat begin to break it down to make it more tender. But the end result winds up being a more flavorful, a more tender cut. And we really pushed the limits here at 62 days, but I really wanted to see how far we could take this venison leg in the process of dry aging. And uh, I'm so pleasantly surprised. You can see the inside of this back leg it really doesn't look that much different than maybe if it hung for just a few days. The moisture retention inside, we really did a good job with the air flow barrier. Didn't dehydrate nearly as much internally as I planned, but I know it's still gonna make it extra tender. I haven't been this excited about cooking a piece of meat and I can't tell you how long. I think we're hot enough. I don't wanna sear it too hard. Oh yeah, and remember we dressed the outside with a little bit of that vegetable oil. So it's ready to go. I don't have any other fat in a pan. We're just gonna get a light sear all the way around it, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven to finish up while we start our stir fry and peanut sauce. All right, so our roast is in the oven. Now it's time to start our stir fry. We're gonna go with just a little bit of canola oil, and then just a little bit of sesame oil to help flavor it, and obviously get everything cooked. So I'm gonna add some of these peanuts first and let them start to toast a little bit. Now it's time, we're gonna start with our carrots. It's time for those chicken of the woods mushrooms. Now these are frozen, so they're holding water. We've gotta get some of that cooked out of them. Put that bell pepper in there. Our bok choy greens and then green peas. These green onions. Now it's time to drop our rice noodles in the boiling water, cover them back up so by the time the sauce is ready, we can put them right in there. We've got some coconut milk, and we've got some creamy peanut butter. Now we're gonna stir it until it's all combined and making a bang up sauce. Look at that coming together right there. Mm. Now it's time for our lime juice. Gotta have that bright citrus kick in there with those deeper peanut and sesame oil flavors, balance it out, building those layers of flavor. With the noodles in, we killed the heat. We're just gonna stir this to combine, let it rest a little bit. We're gonna cook two sunny side eggs and finish this dish off. It'll be time to get that roast right out of the oven. This dish is coming together fast, but almost not fast enough. I want to try it all so much. All right, we got our stir fried rice noodles, veggies with the peanut, coconut sauce, the lime, the mushrooms, lots and lots and lots of flavor. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah, awesome. Now we're gonna switch spots with the roast. Oh my, look how juicy that roast is. Oh, 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 wild game. People, you gotta get after it. Get in the kitchen, 
Try new things. That looks and smells amazing. Can't wait to taste it. 62 day dry aged whitetail venison roast with the stir fried peanut <sighs> coconut sauce. This is wild game. This is where it's at. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountain Top Outdoors. And remember, always eat what you kill. All right, we've got the official taste tester of Hunt Chef Nation here. Number one son, Warren. This is actually his deer harvest. He wants an egg. So we'll get that out of the way first. All right, so you can have that, bud, but you gotta try a slice of the leg first before doing anything else, okay? Okay. All right, man. Hit it. It's good. Yeah? Is it awesome or is it good? Awesome. It's awesome. And well, there you have and good. All right, so dad wants a taste. So good. So thunder. Hey, buddy. We did it. Thank you.